Hey, it's me, Say7. How's everyone doing? Uh, we got more train related content from Project Moon, so. I am pretty scared about what we're about to see. Changed like a whole bunch of stuff. Um, we'll just briefly go through this. So, new identities. Just kind of looking at them, Otis seems a little broken. Uh, depending on what her roll numbers are, I'll probably do one or two rolls for her. Because Seven Association is pretty cool. But yeah, you can now sweep in Luxcavation. Overclocking. So you spend 1.5 times as much ego resource and you can purposely corrode yourself with no drawbacks. So you get to actually be the one who targets things. Thirteen difficult combat stages will be open for a limited period of time. We enter and challenge an active line to enter it at no cost. And if I read it right, I think as you like clear them, then you spend stamina in order to get the rewards. Yeah, and I think they made like the passives easier to do too. So I'll we'll have to check the numbers. Man, they changed a lot. she look like six plus four pretty standard in a clash opponent has minus two clash power okay that's pretty strong damn that's actually insane wow and then five plus five so this is between five to fifteen And you're probably usually going to hit the median roll, so plus 10. Influx rupture, and defense level down. Again, wait, so all her skills have the minus 2? Okay, that's pretty OP. So 8, 10, 12. Click one offensive level down next turn. On hit, bonus slash damage by 15% of damage dealt. Inflict weakness, analyze next turn. Random endear or normal attack type resistance is weakened. Okay, so you can just deal with more damage to him. On haste, one defense power up next turn. All right, yeah, she seems really strong. Uh, what about Hong Lu? The so plus eight, 11. That's actually pretty good for a skill one. Skill two, high base power, eight, 10. If like one burn count at 30 plus SP, if like one more at 45 plus SP, like two more. Okay. Yeah. 
And then more of this raising stagger threshold by 3rd percent. Uh, he seems... Okay. Burn's not really very good right now in the game. But as you have more characters with it, it's gonna make it better, so... Did we actually get her first try? Nice. Tools. Wait, we got her twice? Nice. Okay, so let's level up and uptie her. Boom, level 30. Oh, I didn't even look at her bench passive. Charla took a sip of black tea, her eyes gently closed. In this moment of rest, she was reflecting on the past. It had been years since she joined the association, and much had happened in that time. As a fixer, she would partake in missions and fight battles. She would hurt others, and she would be wounded by others. This child wasn't unskilled by any means. If she were, she wouldn't have gotten this far, right? She herself knew that managing and leading people was a more fitting occupation, so it should be a good thing for her. Though, some might scoff at how insignificant the position of directing Section 6 was. Hmm. It'd be as silly as complaining about the ending of an ongoing story when the child's goal was set further beyond. These numbers are off. The child's eyes sparked. The glint was evidently in her eyes rather than the glasses she wore. It's me. Are you nearby? In a series of gestures as natural as flowing water, the child picked up the phone and made a call. Field work, huh? Yeah, I figured. It was the higher-ups, wasn't it? The other fixer's voice leaked through the phone. It was one of surprise, startled by the child's correct guess. It's far from the first time. Let's see. Your job should be done in about an hour or so, correct? child gave the pile of documents on her desk a side glance. Their peculiar business expenses and signs of different personnel being called to the same site on multiple occasions. Hmm, suspicious. The picture was beginning to form in the child's mind. Got it. Make sure to visit the Section 6 training room as soon as you're done. The child needed someone with whom to review her theory. Someone that she'd always been keeping an eye on. Yes, bring that individual with you. Wait, who? Okay, let's check the passes. Attacking target with damage type. Target is weak or fatal to you, deal plus 10%. And, and with three, this is actually pretty easy to activate. And then bench passive, one ally with a high speed deals plus 10% damage when... Okay, it's the same thing. Cool. You know, I'm glad Otis finally got a three star. I think she was the only character with that one for the longest time.
Oh god, here it is too. So I think going into this, I I kind of just want to take my best clashers into the fight. Uh, we'll put Otis in there too. She seems pretty fun. So let's see. So Gregor, Otis, Honglu. Or Faust. Uh, I don't have like a lot of green with that though. His bench pass is actually going to be good here. I think hers might be good too. Oh no, just rupture. Oh, they changed, they changed the setup for that. I almost used the box. Um, I'll also go ahead and put her in my company. So if you want to add me to test her out, if you didn't get lucky and pull her, feel free. So we have until the 3rd of next month to get through this. Damn, this is a stack setup. Unlike other combat based content, the level ups and tier ups done to your identities and ego on the expeditions in progress will not immediately be re will not be immediately reflected on your team status. Sorry, I'm a Runa player. I don't know how to read. Can't change it. Yep. Thirteen stages. Every battle in Refraction ra Railway will allow you to directly match ally skills against enemy skills similar to abnormality battles. Oh, damn. Okay, that's interesting. Did you get the ID for Otis? Yeah, I did. It only took me one roll, and I actually got it twice. resources held after clearing a stage can be carried over to the next one. Hmm, interesting. You got her in 10? Dude, she seems insane. Anytime she clashes, minus 2 to the opponent. A clear stage station will record the number of turns taken to beat it as well as the cumulative number of turns taken throughout the current expedition total. Alright, Jesus was merciful today. Well, considering I had to spend Ego Shards to get uh, the one who grips, uh, I would say I earned it. Here's station 13 under 120 total turns. And we will be doing that, mind you. Which I actually have a. I think is pretty reasonable. Oh, wait, you have to complete it before the 19th? Oh, so we get two weeks. Oh, hell yeah. You spent pulls to get Encore Faust and wasn't able to get her? You had to buy her? Oh no. Hmm. 
Reasonable, you say? Records of up to 20 expeditions are kept in the log. Ones with the highest soul turns will be removed. Okay. Health and Sandy carry over, carries over. Oh, those who did not participate will fully recover their HP and SP when entering the next stage. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. So you can actually kind of learn the different stages and build around them. I can spoil, but some old abnos are way harder than before. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Yeah, we're aiming for this banner. I'm gonna get it. What line will you travel? Man, nothing good ever happens with trains in Project Moon Universe, so I'm... I'm terrified. this team I think this is fine he says moments before dying the rewards are insane though oh shit oh this is a jam no way! I knew we were gonna have to fight Cromer again. Wait, is this Telepole and the Headless Fish? Oh no. They want you to fight both at the same time? This looks new. This is new. Uh, this is one of those Encorp guys. That's new. Telepole. Guido. Uh, I think that's the Toad that showed up in the preview. Alright, cool. We don't even get to see. So we'll try out Otis. Paying 25 modules is definitely worth 25? Damn, I'm glad I saved up like over 170. Dude, the blue outline. Uh, their clashes look about the same. You have the new Honglu? No. Seems like he's okay. Oh, wait. Look at how much health these two have. 168. Oh, I thought this was gonna be... I thought the first fight, at least, was gonna be a breeze. Doesn't seem like it, though. 
예측대로. Hey, where'd she pull that cane out of? Yeah, 150 plus HP now for everyone. Nice. You spent 250 threads today? On what? Up tying both of them? Dude, I had. I think it was like 280 thread saved up. Wait, so can you actually see... Oh, you can't see the resistances. Overclock Ego, when I get there. Cook on their part. Well, these guys they don't really have a part. I'm waiting for a new ID for Ish. Dude, me too. I like that animation for Otis. Four hundred shards for, her. but you got it when pulling for N Corp bows. Oh, they're shimmy shaky. Yeah, I was gonna say I want to try to finish them all off in this one turn, but. Has so much help. So I'm guessing, can you? The base egos probably don't have an overclock associated with them, right? I guess I didn't check how you actually do that. Or did it even say? on their body. You hold the button? Okay. I have to have 1.5 times more. You don't want to bite her ego? Ooh, I might actually get the... I know I have enough boxes for, I think, 400 shards of anyone I want. Yeah, we just don't have enough. So I'm pretty sure... So the railway is supposed to be like 
end game content for the rest of the game, right? Oh, we have two waves. Oh, did they get rid of this card? Oh, my strategy. For now, yeah. Yeah, I was kind of hoping they would keep that in. He doesn't want to die. <laughs> That's just like a big hit with a cane. Okay, so I should have enough for... this wait so they don't just like flat out transform okay neutral minus 14 that puts us at 11 we could actually lose that um wait what is it just stuck targeting this guy okay sure i believe We'll be getting 300 Lunacy and 5 in Kaplan boxes. I think for what? They just post it on Twitter. Is it for a bug fix or something? There's the changes to Enkeflin refill UI. Oh, do people accidentally like uh click the UI wrong? Like I like I almost did. That's funny. Uh, oh shoot. I was reading your thing. So did we miss our... Did my overclock actually miss? Okay, we'll actually save that for... Yeah, dang. We'll save it for the next fight. Suno also lost his first overclock. He was pissed. Man, I can pull for Otis, but I can't win a clash.
Ooh, no stagger. There we go. Wait, they're gaining HP? Less than 50% heal 20%. Yeah, we haven't had to deal with that in forever. Oh, they have new passes. I actually really like that animation. That's like a big swing. You can feel the weight behind it. God, they don't die. Okay, we'll make sure they die. Animations for Liu Hong Lu are amazing. He just flies. He kind of does that, or he kind of does that in his base identity too. With the uh, his skill too, the dual sweep. Okay, let's put this guy in the blender. We'll just make sure he dies. I'm sick of his shit. You have to complete all 13 fights in less than 130 turns for the special banner. That's really tough. Yeah, but we can just do it for free. And it does seem pretty difficult. Like I said, I mean, we're just kind of testing the waters with this. We'll be able to kind of build around everything in our second and third runs through it all. Dang, 15 gold tickets. Oh god, it's her. Refraction rate, 8%. There are things that we've met at one point. This may be another such encounter, or there might be beings that we will meet at some point. Oh god. You pay once for all rewards? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, they didn't really get hit. Also, I have fluid sack, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, just two waves, not three. All right, we're overclocking. Okay, so when you overclock, it still chooses like your clash target for you, or at least with AOE skills. That's a little weird. Alright, let's see it. 
surely I don't lose this one. Three hundred and seventy one damage. It's a little overkill. Damn, we just put him in the blender and turned it on. Yeah, these guys haven't even attacked, so we don't we don't get any stats for them. Man, I'm really happy for new content though. Yeah, it does just choose it for you. I imagine we don't want to spend that many resources this early on. Damn, putting in work. Okay, how are these guys so much easier than the last one? Probably kill her while we can. Jimmy didn't up get Jiman. Good cat, Gail. I actually feel really good about our team set up for this too. If I can build everyone's ego. At least all the important ones are big damage on Otis to heal for Faust. Yeah, I'm already getting the sense that resource management is going to be... Or it's probably going to be the key to like... I guess min-maxing your runs. Because I could definitely be spending more of our ego 
I feel like all of this. We'll be getting a thousand lunacy now. What the hell? Is it actually because? Hold on. Oh, they put in the macro prevention. Was that actually a problem? Huh. Because I'll be honest, having a hotkey to like you know, choose whether you do the like auto when clashes based on clash rate or you want damage. I feel like that should be just something in the game. Okay, refraction rate 13%. A sorrowful and gloomy cry is heard. As tempting as it is to stick around and hear its cry, we can't stay for too long. Here's an accusation that there's no choice but to face it. Where's the P button? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh my god, look at it. He's so cute. But also that noise is creepy. Wait, what are these noises? Also, why does this cave look like the inside of a mouth? Like this is the uvula? Okay, what do we got? On US target this 5 SP, target's SP is below 0, plus 10% damage. That's it, deal bonus damage by target sinking, okay. more stacking sinking i like that oh my god there's so much every have no got a new background now that's awesome wait even like the older ones oh she does just have her cane i must have missed that So we've got the left eye. We're targeting its eyes. And then the body. Man, at 1500 HP. This is also just the body. Each one instead of the dungeon background. Oh, that's sick. Oh, combat sword gain two protection. Damn, so he's tanky too. I feel like I want to poke its eyes out first. Like every sane person. His noises are so weird. Oh my god. What are we doing to him? He's super tanky? Yeah, I can tell. Not even 100 damage. 
We do have his defense level down though. Um, I'm trying to think. Okay, so I imagine for this we should actually use Ego here. Uh, do I even have the passive though? Oh, I don't for that one. I do for Hong Lu's and Faust. I think this one's just defense. Yeah, we don't need that. His is maggots, which might actually be worth it. Because it'll increase the bleed count. Okay, let's do that. We're gonna put maggots on the toad. Have we gotten any... Okay. No passives. A lot of people are taking 15 plus turns to kill. Maybe a burner bleed team would be good. Yeah, the thing that's kind of unfortunate though... About taking a bleed team is Cromer is on the railway. The silhouettes are accurate, so Okay, 20% more damage from Pearson Blunt. Yeah, I should have uptied more ego stuff for the passives. Hits us with his eyes. What a gross animation. That was that was something. Okay, so now he's trying to AoE us. Yeah, we can stop that pretty easily. Yeah, keep your eyeballs. I don't want to see that. Okay, so we want to take out Nye.
Yeah, let's go for the left eye. Or, yeah. And this thing really does not take damage. Did it say resistances? Okay, so they're weaker probably to slash than anything. Oh no, endeared. Okay, so pierce is the best bet for all those. Um, bodies, probably pierce too. It's weak to, I think this is Envy. Which I do not have a lot of in my team. Okay. I think the important thing is we're winning clashes and not taking too much damage. But damn, this thing is tanky. Yeah, we staggered both of his eyes. I kind of overlays on that too. Let's actually spend this. This is Pierce, so sh should do big damage. I believe. Look at that, 129. Oh, you! Wait, we actually like tore out its eyeball. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. This is actually so messed up. When a part breaks, the enemy with the lowest SP loses. 35 SP. Okay, so Otis isn't doing the best. Um, I think we do it again. Oh, okay. We'll just do the regular one. Oh yeah, and the bench passives and stuff. Oh wait, all the passives... Oh, not all of them? Okay, so certain ones have to be in resonance. While others are just the total.
Okay. Good to know. Alright, give me your other eye. Yeah, he just doesn't want to let it, let it go. So we hit him with maggots. We got good, like, bleed on him. Where am I at? Turn 10? Wait, once you stagger these, do they just stay staggered? Now he's got no eyes. Well, that's say the toad seems to be what? Which resistances change at all? Okay, well, it's fatal in these spots. So I think we just keep trying to w make sure we win these clashes and then put damage here. Fatal damage. Oh, she's out of ammo. It did have taken a deep breath, inflating its belly. A blue teardrop or two welled in its huge round eyes. This cavern will be filled with an air of gloom once its mouth opens. It'd be best to knock the wind out of it. It will stop its cry from coming forth. Yeah, even this isn't very high. We have to flip all three heads for this. We, we might as well just do like a 50-50 on Gregor. All right, Gregor, you never fail. Or maybe you do. Gregor approached the toad. Bro, perhaps the center was a bit too careful. When Gregor got to the toad, its mouth had already begun to open, exhaling a staggeringly gloomy sound. 
Crew who? Crew Hick. Kirga lost his consciousness, trapped in sorrow. Now they merely cry, just as the toad does. No, Gregor got turned into a sad boy. Great, Gregor. I trusted you. Oh no. Gregor, what have you done? Man, look at that bleed. 47? Faust is getting hit. Jimmy's not yet, but I'll do it. Wait, did she not? Okay, LCB ish is not good for this fight. All this will do is burst drummer now. So that's just a flat pour. I mean, we're getting through it. definitely does seem like it's gonna be a any record-breaking run you get 100 seconds I don't think we're gonna make that I think building around Ebony Stem seems like a good idea. I don't even think we we'll clash here. Going for the kill. And its egg is just a giant eye. Yeah, that took 15 turns. A lot of people are taking 15 plus. Yeah, you're right. Oh no, this is gonna be Guido. Those are the ones that relentlessly chased us once before, seeing them confront us yet again. Why, it could almost make me sick. The 
Okay, so we want our blunt team for this. So I'm going to use my own end port. Okay, two waves. 253 HP. Is this what it feels like to do damage again? Still not attacking. You just taking a little break. That should kill. I was actually expecting him to kill. Oh no, and they get whistles? Uh oh. Let's go find her power plus two against students with nails. Okay, so she actually can't clash. She's just gonna get wrecked. How's everyone liking the railways so far? I think this is a pretty fun challenge. Yeah, 
And this might not, not actually kill. Let's have them do the murdering. Okay, it should definitely kill there. Okay, nice. And it got timed perfectly so that the she whistles right as this guy dies. Cause now we've got Guido. Damn, 405 HP. Uh, don't really need healed. You don't get to choose what enemy clashes with that. Okay. You do with the regular ego. Oh, cool. I haven't seen that animation. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we should just let out go for the kill on him. Nice big hit. There's the whistle.
Probably worth spending the ego again. Ego spam is definitely the way to go for this. Team's not built around it though. Almost got him. I think that should end it. Nice. Okay, now we got telepole. What am I at? Forty five total turns. Yeah, we're not even halfway. This is awesome. Okay, so Telepol has really big numbers for clashes. I don't think we ever take Ish into the abnormality fights now, too. Oh yeah, look at that, new background. Oh, hell yeah. The lightning strikes are a really nice touch. Oh, it even has like sound effects too. That's hitting his head. Okay, so she's sitting out of a clash. So we're letting this hit Hong Lu.
재미는 없겠지만 그렇게 할게요. Okay, that could have been bad. Big damage. I'm just kidding. Wait, why did it only hit one part? Oh, because it all targeted the body. Hey, can I do this in ten turns? I'm not so sure anymore. Yeah, at least it feels like I'm doing okay damage. Somehow winning the clashes too. Except that one. Chaos is using AoE. Munga, are you getting that? The Odyssey had a purpose. Yeah, that attack hits hard. Okay, we got his body down. Wait, why'd that still... How'd that go through? I won the clash. Oh, we don't know what it's weak to. 
Destroying the teleport is the best way to kill this guy, but uh, it should be. Yeah, that doesn't help. I imagine it's probably the same as the head, though. It's either blunt or slash. Okay, and it's blunt. I think I'm gonna let Gregor get hit here. So we will get the teleport down. Sick dumb nonsense. It's like right there. Eva, what could I miss? The gun fell out. My arm will never be the same. Shots are hundred, hundred. Give me, Anya. Okay, well, it really didn't stop too much. Um, I can just keep spamming. Actually. Wait, how much did that cost? 24, 19. Oh, that costs like nothing. It sucks. This has a chance of losing, too. So we'll just use a regular version. I can't lose. Uh, it's only hitting the body. I think I have too much like AoE egos. Okay, we can actually let Faust get hit. Let's put damage on the telepole. I'm also going to let Hong Lu get hit. Because he has like a little damage reduction that minus 34%. Yeah, it feels a little strange 
actually trying to apply strategy again in this game. It feels like Ruina. Next, got him. Six turns, not too bad. Oh no, something new? Uh oh. Seems that thunderous hums still linger. No, that's incorrect. The sound is similar, but not quite the same. The scent of rust, stains, and burnt meat rushed past us. Ooh, she's actually at 66 HP. I think this is okay. I hope. Oh, it's this robot. This background's interesting. Okay, we really don't want to get hit by that. But yeah, he's the tour bot. Start of the turn if charge count is at 10 plus. Change behavior. Initiating town tour. And he just gains this on use to. Oh, and he's eating it. Three of them. Okay. Oh, or not. Just has the same picture. Wait, was he gaining bonus power there? He flipped for nine. <laughs> Okay, well the plus coin power minus two, really good for us.
늦으면 리피랑 먼저 갈 거야. Okay, he's over 10 charge. Please cooperate. On hit, click through paralyze next turn. Unclashable cannot be redirected. Target's unit with most HP. Unused spend all charge. This isn't a lot of damage. Oh wait, put target in captivity. Becky didn't become staggered for three turns. At the start of the turn, if uh, what do we call this guy? Keki. Keki one is staggered. Remove this status. Doesn't look like defense skills would do anything for that either. So we just go for the damage then. Would we just scare him? Hey Yasuka, how are you doing? Oh my god. What kind of Dementic Claw Machine is this? Oh wait, she's actually being held up here. Wait, can you see like... Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Doing fine to see you live, the new Otis is good. Yeah, she's pretty insane. Really good at clashing. As you look, all of her skills have in a clash opponent has minus two clash power. And they already roll, or I guess flip, really high. And they have good effects on them too. So yeah, she's pretty good. Okay, and this guy is weak to pierce Gloom and Lust. On use gain 5 protection. So I'm guessing we get... What? Two, two turns to free her? So much HP to chew through. Wait, that's actually so much. Attack targeting captivity cannot be clashed with. 20 plus 5 inflict 10 burn. Oh, just no. 
if she's gonna get destroyed here must be hard the railway content yeah it's pretty insane What? It didn't even stagger her. Just a flesh wound. Yeah, this new content is definitely if it, it feels like end game stuff. And unfortunately, I didn't really build for it. We're kind of just, you know, taking the plunge, seeing what's out here. Is but a scratch. Actually, be worth finding him here. One nail, Tantin. Oh, it's only on a tail set. Could give him less fragility though. Yeah, let's actually do that. Okay, it's just automatically clashing there. Clock's pretty cool too. It's nice actually being able to see the animations. Like, man, that one's really good. Uh, no tail hits, so we didn't get the bind. This is a little unfortunate. The next turn, he's going to be at over 10 charge. She don't want Otis clashing. If she loses, she just gets staggered. Hold up. Oh, he actually gets clashed here. Okay. Clashes are actually pretty close to this stuff's rough. Okay, who's he taking? No, Otis again.
It targets the person with the highest max HP, is that right? Oh yeah, oh we don't have any story stuff. This time it can be clashed with? Oh, so the first time you can't. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, so this is a completely different one. A completely different skill than the last time. Yeah, so the first time I used this one. Oh man, but 22? I guess just 16. Alright, Otis. You're gonna have to fight for your life on this one. But actually, 20 plus 3. Oh, this just wins. Nice. This time, you're hanging. Mokjog is such. all heads. Oh, what is this? Part of the town's bolt? Okay, I'm guessing we should hit this. Wait, this looks really cool though. Project Moon has definitely, like, outdone themselves with this. Oh, we can also heal up too. Actually save that for next turn. Unless we just win here. She's gripping the heart. It's actually good damage though. Okay, we almost got it. Oh, you get multiple turns for it. I 
can tell, did that do damage to its body too? Okay, and that just staggers them. Got him down. Okay, and then he just kind of resets. Yeah, so let's get a big heal in. Jimmy didn't up get you, man. Good okay, Gail. And this felt like a really unique fight though. He's not gonna die, huh? Oh, maybe? Nice. Our man Heathcliff, he's got my back. Oh no. Not the headless fish. Oh wow, there's a tent pole in there. Okay, our total turns are at 63. So we're over halfway. But we're not actually halfway through the fights. Yeah, Toad definitely set us back. I probably could have spent more ego for the end corp fight too. Many reflections and refractions were suffered. Vertigo induces the urge to tear my head off. Managing to hold in the impossible impulse to vomit, a being came into sight that made me glad that my urge stopped as a mere thought. Do I just take Otis in? I mean, she's at 118 HP. Yeah, we're doing it. Oh, no. We got this background. Fighting underwater. Blood sack, wrath resistance increases, gloom resistance decreases. It's 
So I'm guessing they made this fight hard again. Power unstable. Wait, by which resource? Probably pride. Not pride. Gloom. Yep, it was gloom. Almost got one of his arms in one go. Oh no. Yeah, that could have been so bad. Good night. Good night to you too. He's doing that just now. Can we see someone else suffering? Yeah, this has been pretty intense, but I'm really enjoying it. Does that mean, did you end up finishing the whole thing? I still need. Hmm. Still need one gloom. Oh, I don't think I have any gloom in my team. Oh, shoot. 30 minutes for fight. Yeah, it's about how it's been. You stop the four, you're gonna try five soon. It's 3 a.m. here. Who needs sleep? The game updates at midnight in my country. Yeah, it updated pretty late for me too. Okay, nice. I can actually redirect that. pick up the 1300 currency no I haven't yet uh, someone else was telling me about it it's because they changed the, the like stamina UI and I guess some people accidentally use their in Keflin boxes rather than you know creating modules which I almost did the same thing Wait, who's getting two clashes? Gregor. I can actually just let out spam this ego. I should be doing that. First thing you did as soon as you opened the game was that? Oh no. But you learned to look before clicking. Oh, so you didn't accidentally 
use your boxes. That's so funny. So wait, who else is hitting? Man, that's just hitting the body. So this is only gonna be one instance of damage for the body part. She lost. Ow! Her HP. Oh man, the old fish is back. He's getting power out of nowhere again. I hate this thing so much. Didn't, seem be didn't see it being mentioned anywhere in the game. Just make sure to overclock the ego, you just need to hold the click. Yeah, luckily someone told me about that earlier. Because it definitely wasn't mentioned anywhere. Wait, what? Why is that hopeless? Man, there there is something about this where the fish just gains like plus two skill power. Or maybe in this case it's gaining plus five? Why? So confused. He really hits hard like that. Yeah, but I don't know why. I've never gotten the like observation for it. Okay, I mean this is dominating. So maybe we'll be fine. Emphasis on maybe. Got surprised in one of my dungeon runs last week. Oh yeah, you can't actually direct the overclock. The way you kill him is to focus one part and just keep ignoring the damage. How do you not get staggered? This guy always hits like a freight train. Okay, this is a good ego. This is hitting right leg, left leg, and tail. Normal dungeon doesn't matter if you get staggered, he's the end boss, so. Good point. Yeah, look at all that. Dang, good damage there, too. And we beat that. But on railway, there's the HP problem. Yeah, not using, like, certain characters, every fight is kind of tough. They bump the enemy's HP too much? 
wasted almost 20 turns on Frog. It took me 15. But, uh... I mean, it's your first run through it. So, I don't think... I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing. I kind of like the enemies having so much HP. Because now we get to think about, you know, how to do these fights. We actually get to strategize like Ruruna. Okay, that's big damage. Yeah, I need to... I definitely should, like, build my team a little better. Not against it, just mentioning. Yeah, like I said, I don't think it's too terrible. They're finally putting the the masochism back in the game. If you're expecting something like this after playing some Runa. And this is only the beginning. It's gonna get so much worse. This is like the... This probably isn't even like the tutorial for how difficult this game is gonna get. Okay, this should stagger right leg, so I don't have to take on... Oh, wait. Ah, maybe we don't do that. Just ignoring turn numbers now, farming ego resources as I go. Yeah, I did not... I did not build my team for spamming Ego, but I think that's probably the best strategy. Also, make sure you... Yeah, make sure you uptie your Ego too, so you actually get passives off of them. Because I think it's really hurting me that I don't have Ebony Stem at Uptight 2. Because I'm not getting any passes from that. You can use another team with the Egos you don't have on the main team and farm. As long as you don't let anyone die, you can abuse that. Yeah, like I said, I just didn't set up for that. But that definitely is a great idea. I'm gonna eco those so I don't actually get hit. We're going to be getting both arms here. Wait, this one says it's already broken. Hey, you can't use that. Oh, wait. You can actually see its arms broke. It didn't do that before, right? Or did I just never notice it? Oh, that's so cool. 
여행은 목적이 있었지. You're ignoring ego uptime until the season change. Or tell you really need to do it. You get lots of threads after the season change. I mean, I definitely... I think it's a good idea to just use them now. Don't you want the title? Or the banner? The frog too, need to destroy his eyes. Yeah, I saw that. It kind of made me feel bad. Hey, he's still using his arms. Cheater. Alright, I'm coming after that tail next. Thing is, I don't know if I really need it right now. Uh, she's minus one skill power. Just hitting the same body part. Oh, she's got minus three. She can't clash. Um, so I guess we're just gonna spread out the damage or just use her ego, too. Only do it as a last resource. You say uh, 10 something days of farming threads. Yeah, we get. I think it's two weeks to complete the challenge for this. Probably enough to optimize some egos. It's 80 like the three stars. Uh, 20 for uptight 2, and then another 80 for uptight 3, I think. Which actually, if I exit out of this, or I go to the window, and I up tie, will it still like transfer over into that run? Oh yeah, they did give us this. And they got rid of the macros. That's funny. Yeah, see, modules is the first thing now. Use boxes is on the right. Do you know if the extra BP boxes are retroactive? Um, I'm not sure. I also think I should spend this. Did they add Otis to the list? Oh, they did. Dang, maybe I save it. I already got her. Oh, 
Oh no, it's 30 for this one. For uptight two. Yeah, and then 80. Okay, let's see if it actually goes over. Also, continue travels. Yeah, that's what this is. Think about buying the BP, but I'm already at level 90 or 100 something. Would be better if I lost all those levels. Uh, actually, I think... I don't think it resets. That wouldn't make sense. Okay, how's everyone's HP? What, Faust, you're fine? You barely have a scratch. She's kind of hurt. This will actually let us get gloom. Get 40 levels, only get in one box, and there's 40 or 50 days for the season now. Well, there's no cap on it. Oh, these guys. If it's not retroactive, would it be better to wait for the next season? Buying it from the start? I'm pretty sure you can buy it now and nothing bad will happen. Okay, who's it targeting? And it's struggling. These guys hit so hard. Usually, if you can make past the first turn, it's not so bad after. Usually. I think you just have to hit them to get their instincts down. are the days such resources lost from the dailies. Uh, I mean, what do you mean lost? You shouldn't lose anything. Okay, we didn't hit this guy. I mean, Ish lost her clash. Oh, this is bad. Copies a skill that hits this unit. So he can copy your egos. Uh, this seems like the best. Damn. 
at least for me it's enough resources lost it was something like 80 boxes or more if you had the pass I mean, I don't, I don't think you're losing anything though. Oh, I have to redirect this with him. Taking damage. Okay, so blunt. It's a public game gives one or two levels with dailies, some more with weeklies and seasonal objectives. We can also burst this too. It's kind of funny just spamming this. This could be 26. This is actually probably just gonna roll for 13. So we win that. I don't know why it says it's neutral. If you complete them when you're already 60, you'll over level the pass and get one box. If you had the pass, that's three boxes per level. Oh, so since you don't have the pass, you only get one box per level? Is that what you're saying? Okay, yeah, that's what you did say. Okay, I didn't know that. I mean, you could always buy the battle pass and find out. But I see, I see what you're saying now. One box without three width. Gotcha. Wait, it actually lost? Where did he get the plus one power? What was that? Dude, this guy just cheated. I imagine if you buy the battle pass though, it'll probably give you those boxes. I don't know why it wouldn't.
消化。You're all doomed. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, what happened? Yeah, she immediately got staggered and lost half of her HP. Ow. Damn, she got hit hard. Gosh, this is terrible. I hate this fight. I hated it when we did it in the dungeon. This is actually going to be a big tremor burst. Stagger threshold by 22. Pretty good. Misplay? I don't even know what I did for her to take that much damage, actually. And I can't redirect these, so Gregor probably gets staggered here, unless he can heal. Oh, Gregor's got good healing. I believe in him. Oh, we also have Fluid Sack ready. So we might be fine. Okay. Or he can just die. Hour and 40 minutes going through the entire dungeon again to fix your team and killing her to receive a maintenance notice. I only have to redo her fight after the maintenance, but gosh. Yeah, that does suck. Okay. Definitely healing time. Oh wait, is he going to copy this? I think he's going to copy this. Okay, maybe not healing time. Counter skill can copy everything. Is it even if AoEs that aren't that the main hit isn't targeting them though? So I don't know if I've ever had the misfortune of running into that.
Yeah, why is it why is this struggling? It's just 13. Almost got one stack, dude. Hey, lucky. Some catch you get on it. Yeah, I thought this fight was rough the first time. This feels ten times worse than in the, the actual dungeon. to take a clash she's supposed to be oh she doesn't get any she's kind of supposed to be the tank of the team she's not doing a very good job tank in this world, some with their shield, some with their face. True. Take all those face tanks. Okay, so now my resources are eaten into. Two more gloom. Oh, we should be trying to hit this guy with a plus coin drop. Oh my gosh, it gets clash. time
What? He's cheating. Where is he getting the plus one? And the voices when they're doing the corrosion attacks. Spot on. Someone's buffing him. Uh, I don't see how. Yeah, nothing in here says that they get, you know, plus one randomly. First one there, go back to the list. Well, I know they get it from instincts, but he didn't have any. Yeah, I don't think he had that active though. Maybe a bug. The only other thing I can think of is it's the... There's something with offensive levels where if you're a level higher than someone, you can gain final skill power from it, but it doesn't actually show you anywhere. So I don't know. Should be written there. Try to look at their faces in the turnless thing. Maybe they have a passive there. They just have secret passives. Yeah, see, he's getting plus one final skill power. What level is he? 29. So his offensive level should be on par. What level are they? Yeah, see, this is 3 plus 10, so it should only ever be. 3 or 13 but every clash with them it's been 4 or 14 and I don't know where that plus one's coming from
Uh, we don't really have a good class for this. Maybe we just defend. We can just soak the damage. Focus this guy down. Isn't because his element type of damage is strong against your character? I don't think you gain... I think that's only a damage bonus. That's not actually for clashing. Or it doesn't like factor in the clash power. I don't think I'm going to heal here. I believe it does, it goes straight to your base damage. Okay, well now he definitely has plus one. Uh, but I, I've never read that anywhere before. So I don't know. I mean, it's possible. I just don't know. But would he really gain... Plus one off of like 33%? Not too sure. Yeah, we're in like the home stretch for this fight. I can't believe this is gonna be the longest one that we've fought so far. Okay, see, he had again, so he had the plus one because of instincts, right? We know that. But he gained another plus one. My head. I think they'll adjust some of those HPs. Man, I don't know. Um, he's also countering... There's some abnormalities that abuse it too much. Well, I know that Headless Fish will do it a lot too, where he just gets a ton of like attack power out of nowhere. The same, only attack and skip the counter. I'm pretty sure it still activates. But it's only gonna activate twice, so here we'll do it like this. So the first two copies will just be these, which are whatever. You should get staggered anyway. He's just like waiting to get staggered there. Oh, she's out of ammo.
Oh wait, this actually does nothing. Overclock use? Um, I mean, we don't really need to use it here. Okay, he's doing it again. I think we're just gonna block with everyone. I don't really want to take any damage. Not worth it. I don't have good skills for it right now. And besides, we're probably gonna finish him off here. Yeah, I need I need more like single target egos. Yeah, you don't want to time up too much. No, oh, 2 HP. You son of a... I hate this guy. Okay, so we're at 87 turns. We've got five more to go. You think Cromer is gonna have a phase two? The logo of a corporation that once cornered us can be seen. Those who healed their scrapes the instant they were inflicted. New K core. So we're gonna want a lot of blunt. So this is very hard mode. Basically yeah. Actually, Otis isn't too good here. Okay, Corp Terminators. No. Okay, Maybe you can try to update yourself. It's out now. Oh, we have three waves. Okay. So their passive changed all. It's their turn. Heal 15 HP. At less than 50, heal 30. Neutralize target is really annoying skill. So 
通了。They're OP when they keep sp spam healing. Yeah, they can get out of hand. Okay, one down. Okay, that should be enough to kill him. Oh, maybe a little overkill. Whoops. You know, I would definitely say this has been the best update so far. Oh man, this fight's actually bad for... For Ishmael. I think she's already used like half her ammo. Wait, class 3? Oh, this is new? Flash lose, heal 10 HP. Bonus damage by targets rupture times its count. And then remove it. Gained 20 HP from nowhere. <laughs> Are they also not weak to blunt? Okay, so these guys are actually weak to slash. a little different from these guys. to use all of her ammo because I feel like wave three is gonna be pretty insane Jimmy didn't look at you man 
이 전투는 승리할 거야. Nice big damage. 죽음으로 참여하라. 좀더잘뵐수 있을 것 같은데. Oh hell yeah. Man, Kurkuma Hong Lu is the best. 기회 아니야? Actually, die, they just run away. Yeah, I need to save her ammo. For the next guys. Yeah, look at that damage. Seventy five. Damn. He just hit for 66. And that was just on his last attack. Okay, what horrors are next? Empowered stat? Dude, they're like oozing. Dude, that looks sick. No trespassing. Target the unit with the most health. If point one lands heads, plus 10% damage. Point two, plus 10. Two and three are heads, plus 30. Overloaded HP bullet. So our turn gain a two damage up and two fragile. That is... That's so many. What can this be? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? With 2 damage up. Things could go really wrong for us. Pretty sure we can just never let that attack hit, so we're gonna ego that anytime it pops up. Yeah, 
一枚の一夜中一軒駆除加減Yeah, I don't think characters with ammo are going to be very good here. Okay, we can use that to burst tremor. No, she's gonna leave us. And that plus coin power or minus two is so so damn good. I think Encore Heathcliff is pretty underrated. Let's see what this looks like. Target seal with the most health. Dark HP is about 50% plus 10% damage. Oh, wait, these guys are still at full HP? Oh, at the start of the turn, if this unit's health is not at full, heal 25% of max HP up to three times. Cam's really gonna make us work for this 120 turns, huh? I have to work for that banner, boy. Nice. I wonder if they changed behaviors. Yeah, it's a pretty cool animation. I haven't seen that one before. She looks a little funny with the icicles over her face. Oh, yep, they healed again. Okay. That was the last one, right?
damn, look at that damage. He just took away half of his HP. Yeah, no more healing now. Yeah, so these guys, they seem like they're meant to be a bit of a turn waster. It's pretty funny. Good old Project Moon. The funny guys. Okay, Corp is meta. Just so much healing. They keep healing and they don't stop. Oh yeah, look at that fanatic go. We get plus three. getting there good debuffs I think this is a solid team not a lot of ego synergy but just good clashes Dude, look at all that's left of him. Just his helmet. His axe is split in half. Okay, he's dead. Oh, or not. Or maybe. Oh no, even more new stuff. Wait, is it? Oh, I think this is just the Snake Inquisitor. Refraction rate 71%. The slithering tongue is split into two. Not sure which direction to point, it nervously extends and retracts. Both we and it are in peril. One wrong choice could mean being reflected off this plane. So if I remember correctly, I think this one's actually weak to Slash. The Clashes are pretty annoying too. Faust가 나설 만한 곳이어야 할 겁니다. No way. Not just the Slithering Inquisitor, but also 
the four-legged beast too. These are the ones that gain instinct as you hit them, right? Project Moon want, wants players to suffer. To be fair, we kind of like suffering. Uh, let's actually focus one arm. At least for now. Okay, weak to Pierce. Normal for Slash. Alright. Yeah, they are the ones that gave instinct when you hit them. Oh, this is so bad. Okay. So what happens when they hit 4 plus is I think they're gonna get like 3 skills to use. And they gain power. need to get this guy to lose his instincts as well. to do one hell of a juggling act. Man, and these guys with more HP. So you can't really one turn them. Which is usually my strategy. You're up late. Yeah, I am. We got a really fun update. I couldn't let myself be spoiled on any of it, so... Yu Hanglu ID seems good. Apparently his animations are really cool. I haven't seen them. I pulled for the new Otis and she's actually insane. Kuma Honglu is just too good in bleed comp. 
and burn team's a bit meh right now. Yeah. Burn definitely isn't in a good spot. Okay, so I think now I... I actually have to let them hit me. Yeah, these guys not having the evade is so shitty. Because normally you could clash with them, win the clashes, and then lose the evade rolls. And that would be okay. You got her and Hong with 9 free pull and then a 1 pull. Looks like we're both lucky. Dude, I got the new Otis twice in one pull. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him hit and then. I guess we'll do damage control from there. Oh wait. Okay. This will be good. We'll get Pierce Fragility. Okay, at least he didn't get staggered. Oh, their instinct doesn't go down. Well, shoot. I actually don't know how we deal with this. So this guy just stopped? Plus 200%. We actually can't let that hit. You should just focus one of the doggos down in Mirror Dungeon. You can't really do that here. Look how much HP they have. It does seem... It seems like this fight is actually on... Or it's like a little scripted. Because... So if we hit them last turn, they would have gone into Frenzy. Or they'd be in Frenzy for this turn. And then this guy's not attacking. So now I'm worried if I do hit them... We have to deal with them and him next turn. So I think I might have messed up. Saving your free 10 pull and the guaranteed 3 star tickets. Or the limited banner if there's one. There's supposed to be one when Hell's Chicken comes out in mid-April.
like juggling between them and the slithering ink is seems like a bad idea with this poison thing this fight in general seems like a bad idea okay so i think we let this hit and we'll actually just try to focus down this one we'll just hit him with everything we have except that oh we got the whistle Oh, they reduced that down to four lust. It was five. Wait, so Mallpox, have you been doing the refraction railway or not? Nah? Oh, they don't gain more. Oh, okay. This isn't too bad. Okay, so they just gained three attack power up and three fragile this turn. Does not gain instincts when attacked. That whistle, I always think it's my home. Wait, is that what your, like, doorbell sounds like? Is that what you're saying? Okay, so obviously we clash with an ego here. So what'll this be at most? So eight, ten, thirteen. We win those. So why is this guy, is this dude just like taking a nap? He's like, oh, I don't want to fight anymore. Now I think about it, I should have put my attacks on this guy. Yeah, since the other one had fragile, I would have been better to hit him. Yeah, look, this dude just like taking a nap. All right. That definitely worked for me. is in the real railway. I feel like maybe I should grind for Kirkham or Ryushu. So I can build an actual blue team, not the current Scout Walmart one I'm using. I mean, I'm somehow getting by with having a pretty suboptimal team. I would say, so far, from what I've seen, building around Ego Spam is probably the best way to go. Oh, 
Wait, wasn't... Wasn't this back one the one in Frenzy last turn? Why do you do it again? Oh, he's getting instincts. Oh, okay, I get I understand the gimmick. Oh, we actually can. We actually probably shouldn't ego here. He's going to become active next turn because he's going to get the four instincts. Okay, I understand how this fight's supposed to go. I kind of blundered it a little bit. That's okay. Oh yeah, but it seems like Blee teams actually somehow managed to have enough Sin resources to spam their core IDs ego. True. So this can hit for 10. I just had to beat 10. I think this guy's just gonna become active no matter what. Because I have to clash with him. We can make him ego and hopefully get the plus coin drop on him. It would also be a good idea to hit him with it, too. I, th I think Slytherin is easier to clash with. Yeah, fuck it. We'll see if we can stagger this guy. Eyes deceiving me? We definitely got past the threshold. This game's cheating. Okay. I feel like that's not what it was at. Game's a cheat. Okay, we can do the stable big attack. That should stagger. Oh, he's got the plus. Plus two coin drop. So he's easy to clash with. Nice. Someone broke. Hit. 
Hundred, hundred, hundred. Overclock is here now? Yep. They also changed a lot of the like passives and stuff too. So you don't actually have to trigger resonance for some of them. Some of them are just like how many resources you have and they activate. Which I haven't really played around with, but they seem really good. This is this is actually useless. I don't want an ally to die. I think I can do this again, right? Cool, cool, cool. Firmer Faust is still the same. Uh, they reduced her whistle activation from five to four. So it's actually easier to do. Been OP otherwise. Yeah, ten turns. And so to get under a hundred twenty, in thirteen stages, you'd have to average like what eight turns of fight. Is that roughly what it is? Oh no, it's 9.2. 9.2 turns per fight. And we have got our work cut out for us. I'm so excited. Dude, this kind of feels like like a community challenge, you know? is insane but I'm loving it so much dude I am too Holy. dude I can't believe it. it's almost been four hours oh god Uh oh. Oh, this you lost? Oh, this you fool. For my thread, 380 of, you, 380 of them now reduced to your 100 and a little more. Up tying it. Three three stars at once is damn expensive. Hey, you probably should save some of those for egos. Having the ego passives is going to be 
pretty important. Is Rory event fun so far? Yeah, I haven't. I'm really enjoying it. It's very challenging. So if you're up for uh, a good challenge, you'll you'll like it. Ego passes, and you've been struggling. So I had to take a break after Guido because I'm tired. Yeah, I'm way too hyped to be tired right now. Although, I tend to get a little carried away when events come out and try to finish them right away. But to be fair, We've been in a bit of a content drought. Uh, we're also getting poisoned. Got less than 50% HP, it's like three poison, one attack. Okay. Damn, I never up to my ego. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna want to. Yeah, that damage is kind of stacking up. Oh yeah, also I forgot to check the... Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, so the passive actually didn't... You Once you start a run, you can't exit out and uptie stuff. And then have it carry into your run. Because I tried that with her. You look at all that bleed, 24. Didn't get the right arm. Yeah, that bleed's gonna hurt. Now we got the coin drop too. Nice, nice. Yeah, I need, I need way more gloom in my team. the game fairly recently so the content drought wasn't that long for you still it's fair to want to get through events asap kind of the same way well it sucks especially for being like a content creator because uh it's pretty easy to get spoiled on things 
if you don't do them right away. Gee, that animation is so satisfying. Dude, two staggers just from the poison. Oh no. Oh god, things are going bad. How did all of my guys just lose dominating clashes? Welcome to the railway. On this rail railway, your ticket is the one that gets punched. Kurkuma. Hongli is going to be hurting after that. That's a lot of poison. Yes, staggered right away. Ah, can we still have fights after this too? Yep, team setup needs to work. Phase. Finally killed the Inquisitor, but 100% not getting the embellished banner now. Yeah, I'm not getting it either. That's kind of too to be expected of a first run. Ah, man, this poison is so bad. I don't think we kill this turn either. Dude. Yeah, the Seven Association Otis is so broken. Look at that. In a Clash opponent has minus two Clash power. We just win. That's crazy to me. All these fights seem so crazy. It's Project Moon's way of saying, uh, saying thank you for playing their game. Yeah, there's so much HP to chew through. Wall taking poison. Yeah, I have no way to heal. Oh, 
公平に。なじげ。I think everyone's going to be staggered next turn. Hit it with Pierce yet? Yeah, so so far I'm thinking there's like a couple of these fights where you really should build around them. Uh, this is one of them. Oh my, did my enemies take Promer Purifying courses or what? They never rolled tails ever. Bleed is pretty putting in work though. So that's nice. God, it's not enough. Okay, not everyone staggered. But oh man, are we in a bad spot for the next fight? Nice. You need to use that ego. Guys, I think my my ticket's gonna get punched here. Because this looks like Telepole and the Headless Fish. Good rewards though. Those are beings that we saw several stations ago. Why they're together in one place is a complete mystery. Perhaps they were cast in the same location when they were refracted. And everyone is low. Green Earth Headless Clappers, imagine. Smallpox, that's what it is. This is the pre-nerf headless fish. Or at least it, it feels like it. I don't know, this run feels a little dead. I have to let I have to let these guys heal. I'm 
and I do not think this wins. I don't think this wins at all. has dang his gloom is on a skill three that's not good if i had him leveled up he'd actually be okay here because really i just need a whole bunch of gloom resource and we can just spam heal with fluid sack but i don't to bring any gloom or did you uptie Sinclair calendar ego the pain um a Honglu he doesn't really ever lose clashes Gregor can heal uh maybe we're not in that bad of a spot maybe 100% doomed I believe in you. You know how sometimes you hate Project Moon? I feel like this is one of those moments. Dear Lord. Both of these guys at once. What? Two at once? Yeah, why not? Man, this does cost one gloom. I don't think I can use that. Now we didn't roll our gloom resources. Hopefully the dog is still a pushover, otherwise I'm super F. Dude, with the rolls like this? Now the dog's pretty crazy too. I wish you could target where the overclock goes. Okay, everyone's got a clash. Not necessarily good ones, but clashes. Alright. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, that paralyzed was clutch. No, please, dog. He doesn't fail. You know, I kind of wish the background was a mix between both of theirs, like water and lightning. That would have been pretty cool. Missing clash. Hornstein and Smaug. Good old Dark Souls. Yeah, this is pretty much the same kind of traumatization as those guys. Cannon. Okay, we can't let that hit Faust. At least they're not like overwhelming less us with like a ton of attacks. This this actually feels kind of doable. Other than the blood cannon. Sushi. Yeah, this is good, but this takes two gloom. Uh, what about Rosa? Man, our SP is too high. We're probably gonna get that minus 13, so... Then we don't win, so we can't redirect with her. Chisley is using her ego. And it says it's neutral? Why? Oh, because if they flip heads and we don't, we're getting rocked. With this AI, it should be doable. Them using their old mirror AI would probably be an actual nightmare. I mean, this is still a little pretty bad. All right, we have to pray.
Um, if she loses this, I think she actually dies. Uh, yeah, we can't... We can't take that clash with her. We have to redirect with Ish, even if we lose. Yeah. There's just no other way. Twenty-five bleed. I deserve this. Could just defend on her. Which actually isn't a terrible idea. Yeah, we'll just let the count fall off. We still haven't gotten like our one last gloom that we need so we can at least heal a little bit. Is not looking good either. But seven Otis and N Mayor be strong. Fujigo seems to synergize well with her clash power down. Um, I'm not sure. Which ego for Ankor Mare or Mer Mersol? Actually, I should clash with him. Yeah, rather than letting Hong Lu take that, if he gets hit, he just dies. good damage. Wait, hold on. Oh, just went, just kill him. Just murder. Nice, fish down. And now the real fight starts. Yeah, cause, so now he switches to using more attacks. Oh god. Oh, he's howling twice.
부르셨나요? 아, oh, we got the gloom resource. Yeah, I'm really walking a tightrope for this now. Uh, she's close to getting staggered. I think it just happens. You're back, you meant the default ego? So the bind and attack power down? Yeah, I could imagine spamming that would be pretty good. Um, you wouldn't want to use that versus the toad. I think that's about it. We can't take a hopeless clash with him. He's so close to dying. Is this targeting? Ish. Yeah, it doesn't feel like there's a correct answer. She won it. Oh, but she has 25 bleed. Hi, Lurky. How are you doing? Okay. Two people staggered. Oh wait, this card still works. Oh shoot. Okay, I could have been using that like this whole time. Oh no, now I'm missing gloom. Taking a break from your railway run, or am right now. I'm the dog to be the easiest. I have no fight. Really, that's not my run with. Oh, with Toad. He's so beefy. Yeah, he is really hard to kill. He definitely seems like a run killer. You have to average, I think, nine turns per fight to be under 120 for the banner. Okay, so Gregor... We're gonna let him get hit by that. What is that, Blunt? Okay. This is hopeless too. Okay, 
Okay, I believe in the grip. Spend 17 turns on it. Apparently the slash and bullets are ineffective on it with Pierce being normal. Yep. It took me 15 turns. This is a pretty tough fight. Like, even when you're winning the clashes and stuff. But I think I also got lucky because during the event, uh, Gregor let me down. Oh, he's big howling now. And on Ish? She's the only one that has gloom. Why can't I get this, like, one last gloom I need? One day. Okay, well, no healing. Can't do it. We have to win that clash. Oh, there's even more. Okay. Pop up is hopeless. Just three plus ten. We can win that. Nope, I was wrong. He's gaining plus three power out of okay, plus two now. Nice. Wait, from what? I must be missing something with clashes. Definitely should have used Ancorp Faust, at least in my run, trying to make the V Corp Dawn and Faust work in the same team. Yeah, I don't think charge builds are quite there, even with the, the Dawn Telephone you go. Electromotive pursuit. You shit dog. Yeah, do I let her die? Yeah, I think my run's dead in the water. Because what do we have? We have Cromer after this. So, how did we not get the body staggered? It's like right there. Come 
you know, struggle till the bitter end. Paralyzer is pretty strong. So I'll also just finish railway in 172 turns. Probably won't go for shiny banner. I'm going to do it. I definitely didn't do... I definitely didn't, like, build well. But I think that's fine. Like, I took in the Seven Association Yi Sang. And he's only level 6. It's kind of unusable. Fenced out of the skills, they're pitted against each other. For every five points difference, a unit you know, will gain one base skill stat. Skill stat with the sword. Ow. Oh man, he's popping off now. Focus broken parts because they're always fatal. Yeah, but if you don't take flashes, you just die. And we're like right there. Wait, she's doing it. Okay, that's a stagger. This game. I actually can't believe that was a stagger. 37. We're faster. Wait, what are these weak to? Let's double check. I guess it's staggered. This is the only way we win. Nice, easy fight. It stood there, taking the form it believed it to be purest. One sinner exclaimed that this couldn't be possible, but in a world as warped and twisted as this, such a statement wouldn't travel far. The only exchange allowed was that of blows, though with weapons and arms. Nice. Didn't even realize you were fighting the double trouble stage. Yeah. Fun fight. I feel like I killed the headless fish like too fast. I don't know. It actually felt easier to deal with when there was both of them rather than just the dog. Because he can be kind of hard to clash with. Okay. Does she have a phase two? She 
she phase twos. I'm gonna be upset. One way to counter high number dice is paralyzed, and yes, Kromer also has phase two. Don't worry, Bleeder Burn won't give her HP or buff. So it's the bootleg version. Hey, it's like when I farted the first time. That is good to know, though. Haven't gotten to that stage yet. Do the number of skills they use combine surpass your five skills? I uh, no. No, they only do like four or five. Breaker's on his last leg. Well, funnily enough, he can just he can just heal. Oh yeah, we also have his passive at less than twenty five percent HP, healed by five percent of max HP after winning a clash. All right, Gregor, just win. Smile. That's true, just don't get hit. That is my motto. Just win. Hey, nice. Sam got the plus coin drop. Look at that. He healed by 6 HP. Okay, nice dodge. Okay, we actually want this for... Put that on Sinclair. As long as you roll head on. Oh yeah, on Eviscerate Sauce coin. Or any of the other skills, then heal back portion. Yep. G Corp Gregor is pretty strong. Another five. He's getting there. Yeah, now she just focuses on him. Oh wait, the Paralyze is only for the first clash, right? Rushi <laughs> borrowed his Kurikuma.
Wait, can you borrow when you go into the railway? I didn't know that. I guess I didn't even check. Yeah, paralyzes for the first clash. I wish it would kind of tell you that. Ow. You can bar before you go on the railway. That's good to know. I might have to do that. Ow. Is that Gregor's back up to 30? And he doesn't even have a stagger bar, so. <laughs> Okay, the Paralyze is actually messing me up because I don't know what the modifiers are and I'm taking bad clashes. Lose, the user becomes staggered. She doesn't stagger right away, does she? It's been so long. It feels like forever since we've done this fight. Like, what was that? Clear back in. at the beginning of March? I actually didn't remember that. I don't remember that animation. Hitting the nail back to her. That's funny. Oh, she does become staggered right away. Oh, cool. Alright, boys, get her. Oh yeah, I haven't been using discard either. Um, I really need to. She does if she loses, she staggers. Yeah. Hey Toad now, I hope he cries its all to sleep for the rest of its life, both in mirror and railway. Yeah, Toad sucks. It's kind of okay, but you want to focus on its eyes instead of body. It sucks, you have to do the body clashes though. Which means you're losing out on, what, two to three skills per turn? And it's, it's only weak to pierce. This is really funny.
Okay, now I have to check what these clash what these skills actually are. So gripping four plus eight. Uh we don't have to worry about that. That's our first clash, right? Sure. Yeah. Tackle three plus eight. Okay, that's where we have to worry. Uh that's probably not gonna win. I believe. Am I doing? I'm doing well. How about you? This card wasn't removed. No, I think it still works. Or you don't go past the stagger threshold because it won't stack. Just takes them a certain amount of time. How many turns did it take you to beat Toad? I didn't even realize she was doing the gaze. Whoops. Realize this is just a normal Kromer fight? You asked, and it was answered. Sudden so Association Ryoshu is good. Building my team Ryoshu with Honglu is the only one who I didn't even touch. Um, I kind of got put in a bad spot, so I'm just using her. Uh, I lost a lot of my team in the last fight. I hope my PTSD. Yeah, see, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure discard's still working. Wait, why do you, why do people think it was removed? I didn't think it was even a problem. Um, if I remember correctly, you want to. Break her ma as soon as possible. Ten right now, still got like a little more than half HP. Nice. Seven rear shoes, all right. Isn't her skill too gloom? It would actually go really well on my team comp right now. Allies will come in handy when your center is having the chance of winning clash, and high speed center will always start the fight. So, well, it sucks. My high speed center is usually Otis, and she doesn't lose clashes, so. Until paralyzed lands on enemies that use negative coin head rolls. Isn't it just like the sumo guy that does that? It's him and I think it's like one other enemy. Oh, 
Oh yeah, also, look at Gregory, he's back to 89 HP. What a chad. It's like he was never hurt. I should actually start getting some of these passives going. Uh, actually, I don't need to have that. We have like no wrath on our team. Yeah, Gregor's almost being full HP now. He's making that comeback. Inquisitor also does that. Yeah, that's right. A few Abnos too. Oh yeah, I think the the like Boulder one does. So why did why did the music? Like fade in and out. What was that? I don't know. Okay, this can be sixteen. Oh, this is actually her mod attacking. So when I did this fight, I actually killed her before she ever did this. Arch HP is below 30% plus 100% damage. Oh, time to use our ego. We could actually lose this. If she flips three heads, that's 16. Pretty bad. We do always win that. I like how when you click on him, you get scared. Uh, his base is 15, he can lose it too. Okay, 18. I'll have her take that clash then. But actually, her overclock? Uh, I don't think overclocking anything here is worth it. Oh, she's doing it twice. Cause you can't overclock these base ones, can you? Yeah, no. Uh, what's his? His ego debuffs him though. Oh, also it's 14. You can lose that too. I guess we can use Otis. Actually, you know what? If you want an overclock, we'll do it. Oh, but you can't choose the clash. Or you can? Wait. That wasn't working earlier. Okay. Huh. You don't know how to use overclock? Uh, 
You just bring up the menu and then you click and hold. Yeah, there's no tutorial for it. Just cut off Mr. Toad 19 turns wild ride. Damn, 19? Where's your damage? Yeah, do it to him. Big damage. Get rid of that maw. Actually, let's, let's use this. Check them now, Sasha. Yeah, check them. Blood and pierce team will do. Will do that to you. Feels bad. I should have brought more DPS and less sustain. Drishu is minus 25 sanity? What? She's fine. Oh, you. I don't know how, but I remember having your issue corrode on me even though I didn't use her ego. If they fall to low sanity, they just do it. You don't have to use their ego at all. Oh, before the turn? Yeah, look at that. See, discard still works. People keep telling me it doesn't. Now we just win the clashes and hit the broken part. Oh wait, everything's on her on her is just fatal. Was it like that in the fight? Yeah, it that actually feels like an eternity ago. It's been so long. See someone and do a discard while soloing a Chromer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it still happens. Or you can still do it. Chromer's getting fatigued. This fight's actually not that bad. Although that damage up is a little, it's a little scary. It's a lot of fours. Just make sure I win those. Get the Hell's Chicken event this month, right? Yeah, somewhere towards the middle of the month. 
have to fix the bug where sometimes bosses just don't go into another phase and they just die. Why would you want that fixed? I think that was happening with Chromer. Oh yeah, we got her. Nice. Easy fight. Hey, she didn't kill us. You know, that actually wasn't too bad. All right, last one. This is the limit. Even a short rest feels like it might eject us back to once we came. A single moment's carelessness can bring all our effort to naught. Don't tell me that. Why would you tell me that? Once you go to the stage, you won't be able to return to your previous stage until you reach it again during a new run. Wait, can you go back and redo stages? Why would you do that? It's already rare to see, so it's even harder to confirm its current presence. Wait, I missed some stuff. This card actually works though. I think you might want to pray it doesn't give the same skill. Sometimes that happens just because of the way the dashboard works. Um, you get three skill ones, two skill twos, one skill three. So it just comes down to like the odds, you know? You can, you can optimize your turn count if you messed up. No. Oh. I thought you had to do all this in like one go. Oh, actually, I think it did tell us that in the in the like tutorial thing. Oh, well. Can I go back and get my people back? Bring them back alive? Is this card even intended? I hope it I hope it is though, since it gives more control over RNG. I think it's like a skill thing, so I hope it doesn't get taken away. Yeah, we'll just do it. My form empties. All units transfer their karma to their targets after a successful attack. Karma is not transferred to my form empties as long as its allies are alive. What the fuck is this? Okay, 20 protection. So we don't hit this. Slash lose. Apply 20 karma to a random other ally next turn. On hit, inflict 20 karma. I said we have a problem. Tell pull. Give you a problem. Uh, yeah. The duo fight. Here's what Karma does. Take 1% damage per count at the end of the turn. If at 108 plus count, the unit dies. Oh, is that how you're supposed to kill it? Wait, 
Wait, what? Okay, this is a little... A little confusing. Um... So we have to give them karma? By clashing. Okay. Okay, okay. Just came. How's Railway? Hey, Amber. How are you doing? Um, it's pretty tough. It's a fun challenge. I'm liking it. Okay. Man, that's cool. Kind of like the Abno fight in Ruina. You pass around Karma, Hot Potato, basically. Wait, so does that mean you actually want to get hit? But you want them to get Karma. Okay, I'm just gonna do what I do best and win. Someone clashes. Wait, it actually took damage there? Ice 20 protection L. This last boss. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, sorry Amber, if you got spoiled. You don't need to target Buddha. But the clash is on your center. But they're on my center. Wait, so do I want karma or no? Ooh, to attack power up. At the start of the turn, fully recover HP. Oh, so you have to kill him with karma. Okay, cool. What a neat fight. I'm not gonna lie, the sound is pretty unnerving. I don't know how I feel about this. To target your center, you want to win a clash. Just want clashes, don't apply karma to your, to your guys. Looks like you can actually stagger Buddha though. No. Uh oh. 
그래서 카론이 안전벨트 Sinclair, what are you doing? Okay, well, someone's taking a hit. Oh, one of the guys got the two attack power up. Oh, shoot. Okay, so that's why Ada messed me up. Also, I like how it calls them lured. Okay, nothing different. So yeah, we just have to win clashes. That's not too bad. Some spoiler, which is spoiler. No spoilering. It's a rule. I have to play music in the background to fight this boss. The absence of music and the awful noises is nerve wracking. Kind of like it, but also not really. It's weird. The weird, like. Cavern. It sounds like if you yelled down a cavern and you were like at the end of it. If that makes sense. Yeah, she got the. Okay, that the two attack power actually makes this fight pretty terrifying. Because you have no idea who's gonna get it. Is the absence of the sound the entire railway? No, it's just been this fight. Uh oh. Oh god, I think I pissed her off. Oh wait, no, she's hitting her own people. Oh, now it's got a foot. Stone seat. Nice. Would you guys want me to to put on a song? I've got a good one for this. How many of you guys are familiar with Turbulence Office? Hold up. Oh yeah. Now we're jam we're jamming now. Let me know if this is too loud though. Okay, that's okay. All right, let's get it going. I'm hyped. I believe. It is such a good song. I think the music's quiet. Okay. 
turned it up a little. It's a little hard to judge with OBS and with my headset because they're not, they're not the same volume. If that makes sense. So I kind of want to go back and do Turbulence Office again. On use, give three damage up. Ooh. All right, everyone's got a clash. We all happy. Uh, Purify is kind of bad. Oh, I can't redirect it though. Ew. That like wrist animation. Dude, it's gross in the ego attack. It's pretty bad in this too. Shin redirected damage up from Yoshu. I didn't want her to get hit. You're saying Clary got the damage up? Oh, I think that's fine. Well, damage doesn't really matter here. Whoa. Indiscriminate target the unit with the most karma. Do more damage based on target's karma, plus 2% per count. Target has no karma. Minus 50% damage. And it's using it three times. Okay, so do we ju we just have to hit him to apply it, right? On hit remove three ego resources of a random affinity. Oh damn. Can you redirect this? Hold up. You actually can. That's funny. Okay, so how... Okay, so you transfer 10 after a successful attack. Okay, so we just make it one-sided. Direct the first time. What? Uh, this actually isn't too good. Um, actually, no. I like this. Oh, no. Ooh, nice try with that 10. Oh my god. Do it again. Wait, is that how the- Oh, 
Oh my god. That's what happens to us if we have bad karma? This is what happens? What happens if you're a bad chatterer? Look out. I lost three people to the duo. I lost four. The duo is probably... I'd say it's the hardest fight. Their clashes look a little harder too. Yeah, what the fuck? Five plus six? So 12, that can be 17. Okay. That's a really tough clash. Uh, this is 16. Sounds so good. I think this song fits pretty well for this fight, too. Oh wait, Breaker didn't have karma on him, did he? If he did, I should have hit them. Um, 108 plus karma is basically instant death. Is there like a unique animation for it? Sixty. Okay, two attack power up to random other ally. Man, how do you account for that? This is seventeen again. Possibly nineteen. 10, 12. This just wins. Dude, Otis doesn't lose clashes. two on this. So I've take that clash. That's neutral. Yeah, we just have to ensure that win. I kind of wish he gets the karma next though. It'd be better if he died first.
人は Oh my god, we actually almost lost that. He rolled 19. Which I think is the highest he could have gone. Right? Yeah, good thing I used the ego. Oh, ew. Wait, it's like opening up. Dude, it looks so... It's like muscle fibers just encased in stone. Zero. I can clash with that. Okay, ten plus six. Yeah, I've got no karma. Okay, so it looks like this is the one that's gonna die next. So I just put more damage on the Buddha. Said, don't make her angry. I'm gonna do it. There's gonna be a second phase coming up. Is she killing? But she's not killing them yet. So I guess the First one's free, and then the next ones you have to get to 108. I'm glad Ada's the one that died first, then. Because clashing against her sucks. Sure, I win this, right? Uh, eight, thirteen. Actually, maybe not. Let's just use our egos. That reach 108 plus karma to die. Ada didn't that first time. That's why I just thought it'd be the same way. Oh, Sinclair's almost dead. You doing alright? 
And then it goes into second phase. Oh god. Good thing I'm getting in my damage now. Oh my god, he just blew up. Oh, now she's doing it. Thank you, Buddha. Damage reduction pin. Ew, look at the way the mouth opens up, too. Yeah, that's some nightmare fuel. It's actually so creepy. The statue looks as tranquil as ever. Something, something. Wait, is it going to start applying karma to itself? Start the turn if the Murdy is broken. Apply 30 karma through Fragile to a random other ally. Then boot of Monotman. Non-self. During the state, the abnormality's behavior changes and all its attacks target units indiscriminately. Oh, wait, that's what we were doing. Okay, so now we just kill it. No more protection. It is a she. Uh, I mean, this Buddha is. Project Moon has a habit of trying to confuse people. Damn, nine speed. Clap Buddha, like we've always wanted to do. Took me 10 turns to clear the first stage, and you have to average 9.2 on every stage in order to get the embellished banner. Yeah, we've got, like I said, we've got our work cut out for us. Two. 
So guaranteed six. I uh, probably still don't want that clash. Oh, I can't redirect. Hell yeah. Don't remember when the event comes. When the event comes, we pass then Buddha staggers. Oh, let the let the event happen. Don't spoil it for me. I like being surprised. It feels as though you find peace in merely looking at it. The statue seems to be embracing the agony and anguish of all. There's no self within, only everyone. It can only make sense that one would lose the will to fight. However, no man can wholly shoulder another suffering in their stead. Before we all are allured by its false compassion, someone has to break the statue. Oh god. Damn, you have to roll 15? So we have to flip all heads. Damn, I wish I had a 50-50 instead of having to flip all three. Alright, Heathcliff, break it. Oh! He's so good! Heathcliff shook their head. Wait, what? Oh, I was trying to read that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he broke it. Good job, Heath. In mirror dungeon events, they add more music. Like the heart of aspiration is good, but needs more. Wait, is that what it looks like when it's broken? Why does that look like a? There's like a brain in there. That's odd. Quick note at Max Sandy, the chance to get heads is 90%. The reason it shows is very high. Wait, you know it's actually 90%? Were we ever given a number? Because I know some people are trying to like figure it out. There's nowhere that actually like gives you a number, you know. Is in the patch notes? Oh really? Oh, I must have missed that. I kind of skimmed through them though. supposed to do this in like nine holy we have some hard formula about it number of sandy equals some percentage don't remember exactly with 45 so if at 45 it's 90 percent then it's like what two percent for sanity it's 
it's actually pretty reasonable. Oh, wait, he's giving us damage buffs? Udo, you've lost your damn mind. guy to optimize around 120 turns is so low yeah it's crazy like like I said a couple times now it's 9.2 turns per run or per stage which I don't know Man, does that even sound doable I don't know I mean it has to right We killed murder. If it's a uh, hard, then PM will just nerf it. I mean, we'll find a way. Damn, I'm kind of surprised I just managed to get through the entire thing. that but look at that we did it now we get the numbers too dude the one who grips i think this might be the best identity in the game right now the clash potential is just so high like she doesn't really lose her damage is pretty insane Okay, so this is what we did. First run, 164 turns to clear. If it was in the patch notes, I must have missed them while rechecking. Hey, we did get one banner. Oh, and you get all the rewards. Oh yeah, someone mentioned this just for the 25 modules. Hell yeah, cool. So despite losing three people, uh, kind of early on, we managed to do it. Does it show you like each fight? Oh, you can't check. Dang, I was kind of hoping you could look at the fights. So let's see, what did we learn? Uh, I need more gloom in my team. For sure. Uh, my team setup was not good. And I still managed to do it. So I mean, it's tough but doable. Tough but fair. Uh, what would I change? Maybe putting her in? She's pretty good. She's got gloom. Ended up losing Arcor Peeth to the Inquisitor fight, so I might have to restart Battle 8. Oh yeah, apparently you can just restart fights. Like... So honestly, yeah, this... Definitely a challenging event. Gonna have to do some tweaking. Uh, the new Otis, pretty insane. So see, don't accidentally use boxes. They change the stamina stuff. Let's see. Should I do a pull? I kind of want to get the Hong Lu. Give me... Look at that. 
All you have to do is ask. I got him twice and another seven association. That's three I've pulled. It's pretty cool. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's season one. Wait, do you think, is this all we're getting for identities for season one? Or can we actually hold on to this? I imagine we're probably going to get more identities for season one, so I think I'll hold on to this. Doesn't include Eco. They said all season one, so they'll add them, hold it. Yeah. Story time. Greed is bad. Oh, yeah. So this confirms that we're probably going to get Liu, Yi, Sang, and Faust, too. It's pretty cool. Well, do you like the taste, Miss Faust? Hmm. Despite the intense scent, the taste is essentially blank. Is this physically possible? It's just boiled water. The child's eyes sparkled with the hue of jade. Although his eyes always had that color, it sometimes shined brighter than usual, as it is now. Exactly. That's the wonder of this vintage tea. I feel like he's being a troll. The child exclaimed excitedly. This is the highest quality pure. Supplied exclusively to my family. Fermented for more than two decades in the ideal environment. It's nigh priceless. You saying's choking. The other child seated next to them coughed a couple of times as if he choked on the tea. Or you saying. I must wonder though. Is there a good reason to pay such a stiff pri price for this? Or, lack of a better word, scented water? Haha, <laughs> just a taste is too subtle for a tongue oversaturated by cheap stuff. Hmm, uh oh. A wave of cold, almost real enough to cool the tea, seemed to surround the table. Of course. The tea was as warm as ever. Wait, is the is the music supposed to stop there? Why did that feel like a bug? Ahem. I do believe that we haven't gathered here simply to mull over tea. His reminder breathes some vitality back into the gathering. Right, of course. To hazard a guess, you wanted to speak about the last mission, yes? That's correct. More specifically, it's about your left eye. The child drank his tea as he maintained a beaming smile. A subtle hint of an enigmatic emotion seemed to blend into his face. I suppose my eyes tend to glow bright. It's a surprise that you would be curious. While well, the human eye does function similarly to the lens of a camera, it does not come with the ability to emit varying amounts of light. Wait, he's like, he's actually like emitting light. What the heck? White-haired one frigidly cut off the other child's slyness. Even if it were a prosthetic eye, there are still grounds for suspicion. Why would such an affluent individual, one able to treat guests with such expensive tea, settle for such a noticeably mechanical product? Wait, his eyes fake? I didn't know that. I can't do much about what I was born with. Okay, or maybe not. To them, I was a gem of a child. There was a slight tremble to the child's words, but it wasn't noticed by his visitors at the table. 
Okay, so look into his parents. And it was certainly an auspicious thing. The child feared, for he had no way of knowing when his eye might flash. Interesting. Is our other identity also has fake eye? Does it tell you that in the story? Okay, let's get him to 20. I want to see if the animations are as cool as everyone is saying. Oh, they added skip battles. Cool. Only recently understand that Hong Lu is. Wait, what? Wait, what just happened? What? Uh oh. Guys, I lost. Help. Man, I suck at this game. I can't even get into a fight. Your unit's too weak. Surely it's just a one-time thing, right? <laughs> they don't even spawn in. Bug with throw your fraction? The filter is on your screen. Oh, you're right. That, like, blue? Oh, no. Well, at least you get the modules back. Uh, if I switch teams, I might have to like close out of the game and come back in. Accidentally overclocked in Mirror Dungeon, Mirror Dungeon first fight. No. This is a pretty. This is a pretty funny bug, though. <laughs> Was it like that for every fight? Like even if I went in here. Oh, this will actually eat stamina, though. Um... Here. Let me close out. And I'll bring it back up. I'll send that in. I'll send the bug report after stream. What a weird bug. Yeah, that is weird. Oh yeah, my banner. Oh yeah, and if you want to add me, uh, my code is in the description. I put Otis in here. I'll put Hong Lu too. This new one, in case you want to test it out, if you want to pick him up. Okay, let's try it again.
Hey, look at that, we spawned. Okay, cool. His combat spray looks pretty cool. You know, it's weird seeing the Liu without their jackets, though. Oh, he has Gloom, too. If only he could win a clash. Hey, you know what? I actually think uh, Kurakuma Radio would be pretty good. Okay, nice. Staggered. Why is that unopposed? Okay, kick then a punch. I want to see the one where it like flies through the air. Wait, is it just me or was his fist like comically big there? Looks like he had a giant, like a big old punch. His animations look really good. I wonder how much Aleph Ego is going to cost. I imagine we're probably going to get some like different mechanics uh, for later on in the game. So you managed to accumulate 60 lust resources in railway? Yeah, I had a lot too. Definitely wasn't using them properly. Oh, here we go. He like uppercuts and then goes through them. Oh, he's got to slide into a kick. Oh, that's sick. Wait, these animations are great. I love that slide. Not as good as a uh, base Ishmael, but good. Sunsun,正常的時間입니다.더러운것들을순수히흘겨서떼어내버릴시간이죠.나중에우리애들혹시불만이라도있는건아니죠?나한테? Oh my gosh, show up. Awesome. Man, railway is fun. 
in Tennessee. Definitely pretty build specific. Um, I'm gonna call it for the stream here. It's pretty late, but managed to get through the railway. Um, I probably, I'll probably stream again tomorrow, or I guess later today. And we're gonna go for that, that 120 run. But I'm gonna have to do some upgrading and some thinking about how I want to build my teams. I think going into gloom, I need more gloom so I can spam fluid sack and then some actual big single target things to win some of those more difficult clashes, something to spam. Uh, Heathcliff's body bag did pretty well there at the end. So he's a contender for that. Yeah, cool stream. Thank you guys for hanging out. Fun chat. Playing uh, the only Japanese Goblin Slayer I know for real. Uh, that was the song I was playing earlier, in case you didn't know. Good song. Yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and or night, and I'll catch you in the next one.